How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I bring you an updated video with some of the most important iPhone tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to force restart your iPhone, how to enter and exit recovery mode and how to enter and exit DFU mode. Those are some very important security tutorials that will help you so much if you have any problems with your iPhone. So if you need to restore your software or firmware, entering those methods will help you out with that. And if you have the opposite problem, so if your device has entered DFU mode or recovery mode, I'm going to show you as well how to exit, okay, without losing any of your data. So. Let's go ahead, let's get started. This process is universal, so it'll work for any iPhone from the iPhone 8 and up, all the way up to the iPhone 16 series. It's the exact same thing. Let's get started right now. First, the easiest, force restart. All you have to do is press and let go volume up, press and let go volume down, press and hold your side button until you see the Apple logo. All right, let's do it together. Press and hold volume up, press and hold volume down, press and hold the side button. Keep holding, keep holding just the side button. Maybe you'll see this exact same screen on your iPhone. Maybe you won't. If your iPhone is frozen, maybe you won't see anything. No problem, keep holding just the side button until you see the Apple logo. You can let go as you just saw. And then now you just wait we have successfully force restarted our iPhone. So the iPhone is just turning off and turning back on. Of course, you won't lose any of our data, anything like that. I'm gonna show you right now. So let it do its thing. It's just gonna take a few more seconds now. And then I'm gonna show you uncut as I'm gonna do for all this video. As you can see, we've got here um, our home page. As you can see, you can swipe up and then type in your passcode. And then as you can see, our iPhone is back to normal and of course with all of our data, everything like that. So that's how to force restart. Now let's move on and let's talk about recovery mode. Now if you need to put your iPhone in recovery mode, the first thing you actually need is a computer and it doesn't have to be a Mac, it can be a Windows PC as well, so any computer, okay, it doesn't even have to be yours. So I'm gonna get my computer right here, I'm gonna put it right here on the side just to make sure you're seeing it, all right? So it's right here, plugged in. I'm gonna get the other end. And then as you can see, I'm gonna plug it in to my iPhone. Now, if you have a Mac, if you're doing this on a Mac computer, like I'm doing, you don't need to download anything. You don't need to do anything on the computer. But if you're doing this on a PC, you'll actually need to have either iTunes or Apple devices, which is another software made by Apple for the PC, okay? So make sure you have either one of those software. So you just need to have the software in order for the process to work, but the process itself is gonna be done right here on the iPhone, as you'll see. All you need is plug into the computer, have iTunes or Apple devices if you have a Windows PC, and you don't need to do anything if you have a Mac, okay? If you see something right here asking if you wanna trust the computer, you can go ahead and trust, all right? Now, in order to put our iPhone into recovery mode, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time plugged in. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, all right? So let's do it together. So volume up, let go, volume down, let go, side button, and keep holding, keep holding, keep holding again. Maybe you won't see anything on the screen, don't worry. Just keep holding the side button and we will see the Apple logo again, but don't let go just yet, okay? Keep holding. We will see the Apple logo, there we go, but I'm still holding, I didn't let go because we need to see another screen, another actual image, which is a computer being pointed by a cable. Now I can let go. So as you can see, as soon as we see this image, we can let go. That's the recovery mode image. When we see that, we're sure we are in recovery mode and naturally you're gonna see something on the screen of your computer. Of course, it will vary a little bit depending if it's a Mac, a PC, uh, if, if you're using iTunes or not, but you will see a pop-up saying that the computer has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. From now on, you can go ahead and decide what you wanna do. Maybe you wanna restore your iPhone, you can move on. So it's up to you to do whatever you need to do, okay? Now, what if you are in recovery mode and you need to exit? You wanna get out of recovery mode. I'm gonna show you right now as well. And the first thing you have to make sure is, again, you need to be plugged into a computer, okay? If you see this page, recovery mode, you need to plug in to a computer 
in order to exit, okay? Again, we don't need to do anything on the computer, just the buttons, but it needs to be plugged in like mine is. So in order to exit, all you have to do really is press your side button for 15 seconds. You'll understand in a while why you need to do this little countdown, okay? So do it with me, let's do it together, just the side button for 15 seconds. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you can let go. So the idea here is if you keep holding the side button, the iPhone will never exit recovery mode. It'll stay there on that black screen forever. So that's why we need to press count down until 15 or count up until 15 and then let go. And then as you saw, as I release the button, the Apple logo will show up and then it'll automatically restart. Again, without losing any data, nothing like that, the iPhone will get back to normal as if nothing has ever happened. Now, let's wait again, uncut, so you can see the whole process from start to finish. And then there we go. We can already see here our information. You can swipe up. Let me just put my passcode, completing the passcode here, and then we're back to normal with all of our info. We have successfully exit recovery mode. Now, last but not least, Let's talk about DFU mode. And let me briefly explain you what is DFU mode. So DFU mode, think of it like an advanced, an extensive recovery mode. So when we are in DFU mode, we're actually able to not only restore iOS, the software, but also the firmware. So it's like an advanced recovery mode that in some situations you may need to put your iPhone in this scenario, in this position, all right? Now, let's move on and let me show you step by step. It's a little bit trickier, but it's super simple to do. Do it with me step by step, okay? So again, we'll need to be connected to a computer for DFU mode, okay? So connected the exact same thing like in recovery mode. And now the method involves a few more steps. So it's volume up, volume down, press and hold your side button. Again, the famous side button, this time for 10 seconds and then press the volume down for an extra five seconds and you're gonna keep holding both, all right, for those five seconds and then you're gonna let go of your side button and just hold the volume down until we are in DFU mode, which you will see in a second. Now, let's do it together. Volume up, let go, volume down, let go, press and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, volume down, one, two, three, four, five, release side button and just volume down. And now we are entering DFU mode as I speak, okay? The screen will always be black. The only indication that DFU mode is actually on is gonna be on their computer, which I'm seeing right now. I can let go because I'm seeing on my computer that this iPhone is in DFU mode. It actually says DFU mode. So it's a very perfect indication that it did it correctly. It's not in recovery mode. We don't see the cable pointing to a computer. No, it's a black screen. And on the computer, we got the information DFU mode. When you are in recovery mode, you will see recovery mode on the computer. When you are in DFU mode, you will see DFU mode on the computer, okay? So uh, your computer will confirm you this information. So we are right here in DFU mode. So now you can do what you want. If you wanna move on with the restoration process, you can go ahead and do that. But of course, how to exit DFU mode, the final step of our process. And it's actually super simple. Again, we're gonna need to be connected to a computer like you're seeing on my iPhone. And then you're gonna do volume up, let go, volume down, let go, press and hold the side button until we see the Apple logo, All right? So let's do it together, final step. Volume up, let go, volume down, let go, press and hold, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. This time you don't need to count or anything like that, just wait for the Apple logo, which should show up about now or now. Okay, now it's taking a little bit longer, there we go. So now you can let go and then you're seeing the Apple logo. It's gonna be around 10 seconds, okay? But it don't need to count down. All you need to do is take a look at the Apple logo and then all you have to do is wait. 
just wait for your iPhone to restart and then it'll be back to normal. So waiting here on you, waiting with you here, no cuts. Let's wait all the way until the end of the process. It's finally done. Let's wait. And it should be done in about three seconds now. And there we go. So let me just put my passcode one final time, completing the passcode, and then we have successfully exit DFU mode. And then that's how you do it, guys. That's how you force restart your iPhone. You enter and exit recovery mode and you enter and exit DFU mode, all official, completely free, super easy and updated. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye bye.